Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and today we're going to be having a quick look and demonstration at this. Now the box just has it as a rather generic remote controlled sky orb. Now I'm not sure if this is the sort of thing that you might see under different brands and different names but I'll try and find a link to this specific model although I did buy this in home bargains in the UK so if I can find one on Amazon I'll post a link in the description below and really I just cannot believe that in this modern age we've got access to really good decent remote control helicopters and things like this that you can fly around indoors for less than 20 quid. Now I wanted to show a little bit of footage of it flying around on board Tilly just to show it can be controlled in a relatively small area but you may notice that it's a little bit uneven and wobbling around in the air as it does create a lot of downdraft, as you would imagine, which un over all of those uneven surface levels on Tilly was uh, helping to create a channel of air that had come back up and just wobble it around a little bit. But here, back at my mum's house, you can see that once you've got it in an open space, you can really get it controlled and, well, this is hardly the greatest bit of a... Uh, I'm not sure what the technical term, piloting maybe? This is hardly the greatest bit of piloting that you'll ever see, I must admit that. But it does help to demonstrate that you do have pretty decent control over this thing. It's constantly moving forwards to a certain extent, but you can move it forwards with the remote control that makes it travel a lot faster. Really though, I just wanted to give this a quick shout out and heads up that, again, for less than 20 quid, I think this is absolutely fantastic. Takes quite a while to charge. I think it's between half an hour and an hour for about seven minutes, I think. They say figures of that sort of ballpark, but it's easily possible, from my experience, once it's up in the air with no obstructions, to literally get it flying and fly it until the battery charge runs out. So it's all good and definitely getting two thumbs up from me, Dan Brown. That's sort of interesting. Until the next time, keep it propeller worthy, keep it boat worthy, and of course, farewell.